Vision is behind the making of runners. Lord, welcome to Tuesday, the 22nd of December, 2020. Our sense of destiny today on this special date is stewardship, accountability before God. The Bible says, let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1. Thought for the day. One reason why some leaders misbehave while in office is that they are not conscious of their accountability before God. Every single person owes a duty of accountability before God on the last day. And leaders, including public leaders, also owe a duty of accountability before God and must give an account of their stewardship on the last day. So as a leader, you will need an account of your stewardship before God. Romans chapter 4 verse 12. Now, one reason why some leaders misbehave while in office is that they are not conscious of their accountability before God. It is the lack of accountability um, or accountability consciousness that makes some leaders to embezzle public funds and empty the treasury of their countries or their offices or their parastatals. God will require of everyone, including every leader alike, the duty of accountability on the last day. For instance, as a local government chairman or as a leader in a local government council, you will give an account of your leadership. You will give account of your leadership to God when you maltreat people under you. You are engaged in kidnapping or ritual killing or in shedding of innocent blood to keep your positions in the office. You will definitely give an account before God who cannot be bribed. As a governor or a leader in a state, you will give an account of your governance before God. As a civil servant, you will give an account as person, uh, Working under somebody, you give an account of how you spend the money belonging to the state or belonging to your company or parastatal. You are a president of a nation or a holder of a key public office. You will definitely give an account of how you utilized and managed the resources that were committed into your hands. You will give an account of how you took care of or maltreated the people that God put under you when you embezzle government funds and misrule the people, you would definitely give an account. So think about it. When you loot the treasury and you allow the people to wallow in poverty and in hunger and in suffering while you enrich yourself at the expense of their welfare, you will give account to God who is the consuming fire on the last days. It is good to be aware of this so that you can lead and serve well as a public officer. Remember this, that one reason why some leaders misbehave while in office is that they are not conscious of their accountability before God. That shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus. What's our assignment today? As a leader, be always concerned about the welfare of the people that are under you. Don't embezzle public funds. Don't embezzle public resources and allow the people to suffer because you are a leader or a person in position of trust. And thirdly, devise strategies to enhance people's welfare as a leader or as a person in position of trust. Praise the Lord. Now, for us, this, this December, for instance, we, we, have, we have ministered in in tens of millions to people, you know, all over um, rice, food items, clothing items to help to palliate the uh, suffering of the people in this season. As people in position to do stuff like that, it's so important that you reach out and help and assist these people. And I believe that the Lord will help in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of leadership 
I ask for forgiveness in any way that I have mismanaged the opportunity. I ask for the grace to lead people right and not to take advantage of them for my personal gain. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'd like to pray with you today. You'd like to be born again. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. I pray for you and I break the yoke of sin from your life. Anywhere you have sinned against God, embezzled money, mis mis mismanaged funds in, in your possession, I ask that the Lord will forgive you and help you in Jesus' name. And right now, I break the yoke of the devil from your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. It's your birthday today, 22-12-2020. Congratulations. And happy birthday to you. So I assume I sang the beginning part of the song earlier. <laughs> and maybe you sing it to yourself. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. The Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious unto you. I wish you a very happy birthday and I wish you the help of God in the name of Jesus. You are born in a festive season. May festivities always follow you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.